Assalamu alaikum, this is Hamam. Hi everyone, today we are going to learn. We are not going to learn any new grammar, we are just going to read short stories. It's actually not a short story, like it's a, it's quite a long story. And I am going to read this uh, over the span of a few videos. So if you want to follow along, definitely follow along. <laughs> it's going to be a series, it's going to be a series of videos just reading this story. So I am going to put the link for this book, maybe in the description. So if you want to read along, you can just download that book. So the name of this book is Yaj Ad. Yaj is wooden and Ad is horse. So it's called wooden horse. Burun kuzamanda bir yaşçı bilen bir tömürçü bolgan iken. Once upon a time, there were a carpenter and a blacksmith. Ular bir birini mensitmey daim besliken. They despise each other and they often competed with each other. Bir günü ikisi muşu toğırlıq talışıb, qızırışıb qaptı. One day, they had a heated argument over this, so over this competition. Minin hünürüm sinin gidin yaman. Yaq, minin yaman. My skill is better than yours. So, what he means is, I'm more skilled than you. Hünər is craftsmanship. No, mine is better, which means, uh, no, I'm better. Zadi kimin artıq, whose is actually better? So, zadi means actually, really. So, they're saying like, whose craftsmanship is actually better? Bu mesele üstü de ikisi bir günü talaş tartış kılıp, ahır şahs adına aldığı beribdu. So, in the book, I think they have a spelling error. So, they forgot to put the two dots uh, on the top of the T. Just look at the word üstü de and there is no T. So, they forgot the dot. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> One day, they finally went to the prince while arg arguing over this issue. So basically, they went to the prince to settle this issue for them. So the prince said, Mən təxislərinin hünuranlarını körüb baxqınım yox. Şunun üçün, so the prince said, I haven't yet seen your skills. So, 10 günün içində sizlər mənə birer hünuranlarını körüstənlər. In 10 days, show me your skills. So, if I say it in a way that fits English grammar, it's going to be, show me your skills in 10 days. But, but in your words, it's flipped. The days is at the beginning, and the other content content is at the end. On kündün kiyin. After 10 days. Niman bu? What is yours? The nın, the ne at the end of nima represent yours okay that suffix represent yours to be honest you don't use this nimangbu with someone that you respect it's quite rude to be honest quite equivalent to what the hell or like what the hell is this like what he want to say is like what the hell did you bring me did you notice i didn't really like pronounce the re at the end of bar it's it's such a like sometimes in in Uyghur you kind of drop the re at the end of bar. So let me read it again in a proper way. Nimige kerke bar bunun. What is this used for? Like what is this useful for? What is this useful for? So the guy said, Shahzadam, my prince. Bu tömür belikka minib, derya mı derya, dengiz mı dengiz yürüp, sayahat kılgılı, nurgun yurtlarını körgülü buludu. Remember the grammar rule. Me is a suffix of my, so even if you don't see minim, my, it still means my prince. Okay, şahsadem, my prince. So he said, ride this iron fish and travel from river to river, sea to sea, and see many places, cities. The literal translation is as above. So now let me translate it in a way how normal people speak, okay? So what he wanted to say is, My prince, you can ride this iron fish and travel from river to river, sea to sea, and see many cities or places, okay? So I'm going to stop here. And if you want to hear the next part of the story, please subscribe and... Uh, See you in my next video.